Hello everyone. Today, I am back with Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese Rebooted to give you guys some tips to tackle Nightmare and your Nightmare. Since I've done TNAC pre-pre-patch while juggling, I've taken a lot of notes on how the characters work, and believe me, there is a ton of misinformation out there about how everything works. So hopefully this video will clear all that up and help you guys out. So first up, I'll just go through each character, and let's start with old Chuck. So, a lot of people really struggle on this character, because they'll often try to close the gate whenever they hear his voice line, but this just isn't how he works at all. So, once you hear his voice line, you're going to want to turn around, and then use the stage call for about one and a half seconds. And then he'll just go away. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. Alright, so, old Chuck just appeared. Turn around. Stage call. Should be, should be good. And as you can see, he is gone. So, just like that. Super simple. His kill timer is a whole 10 seconds, and likely to compensate for much junior combos, but this combined with the fact that he can only attack roughly every 25 seconds does make him quite lenient, though those times can get offset, so just watch out for that. So Jasper is pretty self-explanatory. What I notice is that he appears about every 20 seconds from his last appearance, or at least from when he goes away, I should say. So first one tends to be 20 seconds in, which that'll go hand in hand with telling Bear, which we'll get to that when we get there. And when he appears, he usually takes about 4 seconds to kill you, so the length of the gate closing. So if your gate is like about like a fourth close, you may be able to power it through, but it's very risky since turning around also takes a little bit of time, and getting on the stage call takes a little bit of time. So if your precision is really good, you can go for it, but if Chucky like appeared with Jasper, just did it deal with Jasper first. Now onto the real problem child, costume. This character is what causes a majority of runs to die, if not directly by killing you, and indirectly by taking your attention away from the other characters. But the best way of dealing with him is by going into and out of the monitor, because he's like Foxy in FNAF 2, where you should be spamming him rather than holding. A lot of people will tell you that even watching costume for just a second is super beneficial, and that's because during the first second of your cam visit, your costume like watching powers are more potent, so you want to take advantage of that. But once you know this, it's actually pretty easy to keep him in channel 4 the whole night, if not channel 5. Mr. Munch on the other hand is very very easy. His neutral game is just honestly terrible. He's very slow, his jump has like a billion frames of startup, just pick a zoner and he won't be an issue. One tip I have for Munch is that when he starts charging his magic burst, you can use any grounded neutral, I usually go for jab 3, and it's guaranteed to put him into tumble, and then depending on where you are, you might be able to sort of chain grab if you're playing a Spacey's or Marth. But if you're playing Chun-Li, you might be able to just let him use the attack and parry it straight up, and that could lead to other punishes, but yeah, it's not that hard. I'll demonstrate this here, so, as you can see, Munch just left, so let me use the stage call. And boom, Munch is back. So, easy. Alright, well. Now on to Helen. So, she's a bit of a tricky one. You're gonna hear a whooshing sound, and that means Helen is at the gate, and all you need to do is make sure the gate covers her head. So, you just need to spend around 3 seconds getting the gate to roughly halfway. She shows up around every 20 to 25 seconds, and her kill timer lasts about 7.5 seconds. But it does slow down while you're closing the gate, so it's probably closer to 9, maybe 10 seconds. So just make sure you're listening out for the sound cue. Alright, she should be here any second now. There she is. So all I need to do is bring the gate over half of, halfway. You can visualize it like right here. That's it. So I will say she can get pretty annoying when other characters like Dolly show up at the same time. Definitely prepare to lose a couple runs to Helen, but she isn't the worst thing in the world. Now pre-patch Helen is a completely different story. On pre-patch, while she appears at the same time as she does post-patch, you need to completely close the gate all the way in order to make Helen go away. So additionally, the slowing on the timer that helps you out is not a thing in pre-patch. So she's actually pretty brutal, but thankfully uh, conflicting characters like Jasper cannot show up at the same time. So, you're unlikely to get a true luck-based death, but it's still very irritating, which is why she was nerfed into the more fair and balanced version we have now. And Pasquale. Pasquale is probably the easiest character in the whole game. Like, he only has two spell cards. The first one is Pizza Science Saucy Disaster, and it's absolutely free. It's literally just streaming. I'm not even going to bother showing it. If you have a brain, you'll never die to this. His second spell card, he occasionally uses when you see him 
after you come out of the cameras. So just avoid using the stage call when that happens and he'll go away. Easy as that. He can sometimes catch you off guard. Uh, it, maybe if Jasper showed up at the same time and you didn't notice him. Or if we take too long to get there uh, when Jasper is there, that can also screw you over. But overall, he's a very easy character. Good demonstration. Come on. Yep. And gone. Very easy. Alright, there is another real problem child. So, he works on cycles, and at the start of the night, there's 30 seconds of standing up, and then during that cycle, you need to flash him three times before it's up. And then he, is, he sits down, and that cycle, or that part of the cycle, lasts about five and a half minutes. So if my math is correct, he should show up roughly 13 times during the night. 26 if you're playing long nights. So just remember to check on him, and once you flash him three times, it doesn't matter how early in the late or late into the cycle you are, you're just good. You're in game, just to demonstrate. One, two, three. Alright, and that's it for Bear for this cycle. You can see he will sit back down in any second now. Note that the cycle times I showed earlier can get offset. Yeah, there we go. So you may see him stand up about two minutes in, so definitely keep a close eye on him, just do not forget Bear. If you have a stopwatch, use that to keep track of the cycles, just it's a very tricky character. Next up we have Munch Jr. This freaking purple pickle is so annoying. You're gonna want Bane of Arthropods on your sword and fire protection on your armor, if possible. He just casts random spells with varying effects. Most of them aren't that bad, but if you get the Sundundle potion, your charisma stat will drop to zero for like maybe 10 seconds and it makes Bear a lot harder to deal with. Super irritating character, but he is quad weak to ground, so as long as you're packing Earthquake he shouldn't be that much of an issue, so just keep DPS on him. Finally, the last character on the list, we have Dolly Dimples. And and now that we've gone through all the characters, I'm just going to throw out some miscellaneous tips. So the biggest tip I have is that whenever Old Candy shows up, you can actually stall him by not by just looking at costume, because his timer only goes down when you're not in the cameras. Uh, another thing is that Ellie, uh, her timer can be stalled by not turning around when you're at the gate. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it. You should be set as long as you follow this guide. Um, unfortunately, as I was getting footage of beating True Nightmare with all of these tips, um, a swan flew in and deleted everything before I could shoot it out. So sadly, I can't show you guys much of this in practice, but that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.